Welcome to Anchorage, Alaska. This is the gate going to Dutch Harbor. Any of this gate, A14, A13, A16, A15. But this time I'm going to Dutch Harbor. It's in gate A15. That's Dutch Harbor right there. Dutch Harbor. So this is the waiting area of the passengers that are about to board going to Dutch Harbor. And uh, it is a beautiful day today. The weather outside is 65 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, sun is shining so bright. And hopefully, somewhere in between Anchorage and Dutch Harbor is uh, a good weather. Because in any time, weather will change here in Alaska. So, yep, that's uh, some of the planes. Yep, this is uh, your entrance or gateway going to Dutch Harbor, starting here in Anchorage, Alaska. This is your friend Everett Taroro. Bye bye for now. Have a nice day. In a few moments now, we're going to land in the airport of Dutch Harbor. And uh, it's a little bit windy today, but the sun is shining so bright. And that is the ocean right there. And the mountain is green. And yeah, uh, enjoying this beautiful weather today here in Dutch Harbor, Alaska. And uh, this is how you uh, come here in Dutch Harbor by a plane or boat. By boat it will take days, but by plane it will take three hours or more, depending to the weather conditions. We are about to land here in the city of Dutch Harbor. And what you can see right there, down of the mountain is the port the city port of Dutch Harbor so yeah it's a beautiful day today and uh, the weather is good so yeah this is your friend Efer Caroro showing you around the city of Dutch Harbor that's one of the fishing boat right here in Dutch Harbor. So over there, right there, down there in the mountain valley, is uh, the seaport of Madsen and other uh, cargo boats that brings supplies here in the island of Dutch Harbor. So in just uh, a minute or two, we're about to land. So. Sit tight and fasten your seatbelt. Hi. Hi. Here we go. City of Dutch Harbor. This is it. That's how you go. Look at that beautiful mountain right there, Baliu Mountain. Oh, awesome here in City of Dutch Harbor. So we are here now inside in this airport, and that plane right there that you have seen is uh, the Raven Airline. And that mountain is a Valley Mountain. It's a beautiful mountain here in Dutch Harbor. So this is the inside the airport and um, we're going outside in this sliding door. And uh, going directly to the car park. You can use the car park for one day if you are planning to go to Anchorage. And we'll be back the same day, then you can just park your car right there free. But uh, if you want to stay in Anchorage for more than one day, then you have to uh, park your car on the opposite side of this par car park right here. So now we are here in my vehicle and uh, I will give you a little tour here in the city of Har Dust Harbor and uh, show you what's uh, here in the harbor so that uh, you will have an idea and um, if you are planning to come here and 
visit here, then um, you have to know the things that needs to be prepared and also you will have an idea of how to get here and also what to expect. So that's the purpose of this video. So um, we are heading now to the main road of this uh, beautiful city of the tower that, that right there in your left side building is the fire department and right here in front is the main road this is the main road here in Dutch Harbor and you cannot drive more than 40 miles an hour because it's summer today then uh, the fields are green beautiful and fantastic weather even though there's a lot of uh, um, clouds right there but uh, it's one of the beautiful weather here in Dutch Harbor right here in my left is the establishment and uh, businesses where you can buy stuff that is needed for fishing and uh, going further beyond that building right there with the red roof is one of the hotel here I mean the hotel here a Lucian hotel that right there is a building this one blue building is a gas station and right there in my left the white building right there is Safeway a California based supermarket and the background of that is the pyramid mountain beautiful mountain one of the fantastic mountain here right there see that oh a lovely and beautiful mountain I've climbed that uh, last two years ago that's the hotel right there that's the big flag you can see on my left and uh, also over there that green building is one of the supermarket also called Alaska ship and uh, and also that right there in my left is the post office so let's just continue further and uh, right here in the, the city of Dal Sabor there are many hills and small mountains but you cannot just climb you have to uh, go to the office of the tribal people here the native people here they have the uh, uh, office called OIC and you get you have to get um, a permit to climb you can get a one-year permit or a daytime and uh, you can actually uh, look it in Google and you will see how much you will pay so continuing further is another mountain uh, on the top of that mountain in front of us is a bunker uh, military bunker because it's stalled right there during World War II because if you uh, go side bit of this video and look to history of Dutch Harbor during World War II it was bombed by the Japanese so the U US Army installed a uh, uh, bunker many bunkers here as you can see here if you want to come here and uh, visit you can see a lot of bunkers here that's still here so yeah um, that's uh, right there and uh, that is those boats that are fishing for shrimps you see and going further is the bridge the captain bridge uh, we are going to right so we go right first and I will show you one of the beautiful scenery here first in my left is that water right there that's the ocean yeah I see that and that the ranges of that mountain uh, the pyramid mountain over there is looks like pyramid shape so that's why it's called pyramid mountain but right there right there in the dock that you can see right there some of the fishing boats is right there this is the famous docks that is being filmed by the documentary 
uh, film called Deadly Scotch by uh, Discovery Channel. So Deadly Scotch is being filmed here every winter time, every winter season. The Cornelia Marie, the Time Bandits, the Kodiak, and so on and so forth. Uh, they are stationed here most of the time. And uh, this is where they um, stack their food and resupply and go out to the sea again. So yeah, that's the harbor right there. And on the top of the mountain right there, pointed top of the mountain is where the bunker is the military the military bunker during world war ii you can still see the bunker right there but there's no guns anymore but it used to have guns right there anti-aircraft guns so yeah that's uh, what you can see right here beautiful uh, i always emphasize a beautiful day because dutch harbor is in the heart of uh, the Bering Sea and Pacific, North Pacific Ocean. So the weather is not that really good all year round. So that's why when we have this kind of weather, all the people here in this island celebrate it because it is one of the lifetime kind of weather. Because it doesn't matter if it is summer, it will rain, it will blow strong wind. So yeah, now we are crossing this Captain Bridge going to the other side of this island called Onalaska and right there on the top of the mountain is the tower of the GCI telephone company and over there in that hill is the police department the red roof building right there police department and the fire department as well going further is that is the city hall and right here in my left is the community health clinic slash hospital so they only cater minor uh, medical conditions but uh, if you have major conditions then they will going to fly you going to Anchorage where bigger hospital is over there in Anchorage yeah so this is it I am driving you going here in this road so that you have an idea what it looks like here in Dutch Harbor. Now, moving forward, if you can see that square green roof right there, that is the public library building. Although now they are renovating it, but uh, you can still go there and uh, read books and most of the time browse the internet. I cannot say that the internet is good I can also say bad but at least it's better than nothing so we're going to turn right here from the library and that building right there in my right is the gymnasium or the recreational center if uh, you have spare time then you can go there it's free uh, to do basketball and all kinds of uh, physical sports and activities to keep you fit and healthy and in front of us is the high school here in the city of Dutch Harbor. So uh, if you have children in their high school, so you can send them here in this school. And this building right here, this big building on my left, is an in indoor swimming pool. That's the church right there, Christian Fellowship. And that's the extension of this high school building here in Dutch Harbor and another body of water right there where you can see a lot of salmons during summer times so yeah and that red roof building right there is the Methodist Church so you can go and worship there if uh, you are a Methodist And over there, somewhere over there in the hill, there's a lot of housing over there. That's uh, some of the houses of the people that lives here. And right here on my left is the elementary school building. So, a beautiful school. As a matter of fact, they are hiring for teachers. I don't know if they already hired, but uh, that's what I heard the last time. So yeah, that's uh, what it is here. 
So those houses right there in the hill are uh, the houses of the uh, native people from here. And also some people that uh, just move here, not necessarily native, um, that works here in the city or in the fishing industry. So yeah, you can um, come here, but uh, it's really expensive. And uh, this road is maintained by the public works. So um, this mountain here you can climb, but again, you have to get uh, a permit. You cannot just climb without a permit because uh, it is managed by the native, the office of the native here. And right here in my left side is where the public works. So they're the one who maintains the road and some constructions. Yeah. That building right there is a Kawilangan building. That's where the native uh, office is. And you can go there and uh, ask the history of the native people here in the harbor. And that's another apartments right there. People that works here in the Dutch Harbor, they rent. I don't know if you can find a cheaper rent uh, rental fee here. Uh, I am renting my apartment for uh, almost $2,000. So <laughs> yeah, almost $2,000. But that's all utilities and electricity and so forth like that. Uh, free but uh, yeah it is really very expensive here uh, almost triple expensive than the lower 48 states continuing further in this road is another community uh, people that works in the city and works in the fishing industries because that's harbor is majority the people are working in the fish industries so about 500 yards from where i'm at right now is the end of the paved road so in the end of this paved road is uh, an overland so people in their spare time they go over landing but again um, you cannot just go over land uh, if your vehicle is not uh, four-wheel drive because road here is not properly maintained so you have to take your own risk if you do overlanding and there are also some roads that are not passable so you have to uh, see to it that uh, before you do overlanding you have to check it out but yeah that's all about here in uh, this area here of Dutch Harbor that right there is an eagle by the way, eagles here in Dutch Harbor is very common because this is an eagle island. As a matter of fact, in the apartment where I live, I have a little porch and eagle, they land over there. So uh, sometimes I'm scared because a lot of them, especially adult eagles and uh, a mother eagle is big than the male eagle especially the eagles that have uh, their younglings so they are really protective of their younglings um, most of the time when they fly with their younglings and the younglings is near at my porch the mother is just in the distance but they are watching and also the father so it is very dangerous and there are already some cases that uh, an eagle attacked uh, the hikers here in uh, um, Dutch Harbor. Uh, people that are climbing the mountains and they're just um, walking and not even thinking that there's a lot of eagles nests in the mountains. And eagles will attack and you know what I mean when it happens. So yeah, you have to really be careful. As a matter of fact, I will show you a uh, video clip of me walking uh, on a porch it was not in my porch but uh, I was 
going to the store to buy something and uh, when, I was ab when I was about to climb to the porch there was a baby eagle uh, hopping and on the distance uh, was the mother watching it so I was a little bit scared but at the same time excited as a matter of fact I'll insert the video clip right here right now you know one 2022 it is uh, 17.05 in the evening and that is a uh, baby eagle right there and uh, look at that <laughs> see that that baby eagle out there not not yet fully grown just look only like around in a human is like only like eight nine ten years old yeah and over right there the other one the other side is the mother eagle that's a fully grown this on the baby so yeah, this is your friend right here in the Arctic of Alaska. Bye-bye for now. So yeah, there you go. Um, you just seen it. So those are one of my encounters, many encounters of uh, eagles right here in Dutch Harbor. As a matter of fact, it's not only eagles that I've encountered here, also fox. There are two kinds of foxes here. Um, red fox and the black fox. So we are going back to where we started now so i will just fast forward some of the video because uh, it will be a redundant already if i will still explain it to you and tell you but if ever you have questions regarding uh, what you have seen in this video just comment below and i will try to answer them So we're almost there in a stop sign right there and after we stop we will go straight forward because over there is a landmark or hist historical landmark that I would like to show you so that you will have an idea what it's all about and uh, this road on the left side is the courthouse a small courthouse and uh, that building right there on the right side is another apartment which people that works here uh, rented and right there that building on the top of it is a cross and uh, it's not a catholic church but uh, a russian orthodox church this is a historical landmark because it was built during the early 1800s so i'm going to show you Right there in my left side is the priest house of the priest of this uh, Russian Orthodox Church. So yeah, um, this church right here was built even before the United States bought Alaska from Russia. So I will show you what is the written indication in the history right here so it says here um, Church of the Holy Ascension so that's the name of the church but basically it's a Russian Orthodox Church and it's registered to the historical landmark of the uh, United States and uh, on the opposite side of this building is the general history of how it began here. Look at that, see? Church of the Holy Ascension. And uh, just try to read it. Probably through the course of time and also because of the weather here, uh, probably it's already been renovated many times over there in the opposite of this ocean right here is where i live right there in the hill right there that you can see that right there there's a building there the green blue roof with the green paint in the house that's where i live that's on the top of that small hill right there and right there in that white container there and also that uh, 
big crane right there is where big ships coming from international uh, waters comes here and docks and load all those kinds of seafood products that is being produced here in the harbor like king crab, salmon, pollock, cod and shrimps and uh, go back again to that uh, opening water of Bering Sea right there and all the ships fishing ships and thing they come into that uh, opening right there so yeah um, I'm heading out now going to the other side of this island where we started before and I will show you what's in there on the opposite of where we are right now So we are almost there in a stop sign and once we uh, s stop we will turn right because that's the only way to go back to where we started in this video in the airport. So yeah we are now um, passing by of where we passed before. And that's over there in front of us is the captain bridge where we cross earlier so there's a lot of things going on here in this island especially in summertime and uh, tourist wise there's a cruise ship that once in a while come here uh, during summertime and tourists are visiting here and looking for the relics of World War II um, also seeing the beauty of this nature here in Dutch Harbor so um, right there in front of us is the beautiful shape of the Valley Hoo Mountain and down below in the Valley Hoo Mountain is where the airport is and in the top of that Baliho mountain, I climbed that two years ago. And right there in our right side is the USPS or the postal service right here in Dutch Harbor. So yeah, that's one of the gas station next to the postal service. And that is the Aleutian uh, Hotel. So if you're planning to visit here as a tourist, then uh, there's no other hotel here but that only so you have to look uh, online for that and book right away but uh, bear in mind that it is really expensive so that is the thing that you have to uh, prepare look at that beautiful and staggeringly majestic shape of that mountain you can climb over there in the top of that but again, you have to secure a permit first before you can climb over there. And right here in our right, that's where I saw the eagle because over there in the building is an Asian store. So that's where the eagle that uh, I inserted in this clip. All right, so in this area here is the industrial area and also there's also um, housing here for those people that who works nearby in the industrial area because right here in my right side is where the container is of the Matson and um, that is already loaded with the products from here crabs, king crabs, salmon, pollocks, cod and uh, those shrimps that has already been processed and already back look at that and big trucks like like trailer trucks is common here because those are the one that carries these big containers from one place to another using that uh, trailer truck so most 
of the time people from the lower portage state that are trail driver they are really uh, in demand here so people here in this harbor works 24 7 except uh, off season so when the season is uh, on then there's no rest for the weary but uh, there is night shift and uh, day shift you can choose which shift you want but there's also an overtime if you like money so right there that big building in my right side is the power plant here in uh, Dutch Harbor and they're the one produce electricity and distribute to houses and commercial buildings so in front of us is the Valley Ho mountain and also right there uh, down below in that mountain is the airport look at that that's the tarmac I'm not sure how many miles the tarmac is but at least um, more or less a mile or so at least a mile yeah so that's the tarmac right there and uh, every time if there's a plane that is about to land or about to uh, fly we have to stop if you are driving somewhere here you have to stop so yeah that's uh, the things that you should know if ever you come here and rent a car because there's a car rental here close to the airport which I will show you later in this video you can rent a car and you can look for Google on it I'm not paid to advertise but yeah that's basically it it's right there right here in our right side is what I uh, mentioned earlier in this video when we were in the plane it's the city port where big ships dock and even the United States Navy and also the Coast Guard is also dock right here from time to time you know um, Dutch Harbor is 900 miles from Anchorage air distance and uh, more or less we are two to three thousand miles distance from Russia so there's a lot of military activities in between so um, the United States Navy and Coast Guard is always ducking right here in this port but there is also a ship here uh, that uh, bring products and goods that is needed in the island that's a salvage ship they are the one responsible for recovering and salvaging what was left on the sunken vessel so yeah that's that's what it is here so fishing is the number one source of income in this island and you know being uh, in the sea is a dangerous job especially in winter time try watching the deadliest catch that's why it's called deadliest catch because it is the really deadliest kind of job but the money is big if you want to earn money so right here is another company called um, cluster boy and they are the one also that process products seafood products and being back and also put into the container and uh, ship internationally so that's it right here in this opposite side of the island so we are turning back now heading back to where we started which is in the airport and uh, just want to let you know that uh, if ever you're wanting to visit here in this island one day um, bear in mind that it's really expensive here so like what I'm telling um, plane ticket alone from Anchorage to Dutch Harbor just one way is 900 uh, so in total that will be 1800 and, and the price will fluctuate so it's not fixed so depending to the, the weather as well so on summer it's a little bit cheaper 
especially if you're from here then you have a discount if you are a resident here in Dutch Harbor you have a discount from the airline company so that's what you can expect from here um, Anchorage and Dutch Harbor alone is at least 2000 and that's it that is in excluding again excluding the hotel and the food and also to rent the car so that's not included over there only the airfare from Anchorage to Dutch Harbor and if you're not from Anchorage if you're from the lower 48 states that's another airfare right there that you have to consider so more or less at least you have to have three to four thousand US dollars pocket money save if you want to come and visit and, uh, as a tourist here in this island because whether you like it or not this island is very expensive almost three times uh, the price than in the mainland of the United States gas here is um, four to five dollars gallon and uh, yeah that's normal here and right here in this airport is where the uh, medibac which uh, if in case of emergency if the small hospital here cannot uh, treat major medical problem or condition then the medibac uh, plane will going to fly a patient going to anchorage because there is a more hospital in Anchorage and more uh, complete in facilities. By the way, this tarmac it was used by the United States Air Force during World War II. And you can still see the old US Air Force Tower right there in our right. They preserved that and now become a museum. So we're going to turn right because that's where we started in our video here in Dutch Harbor and this building in my right is where the rental car and this sign board right there called Tom Madsen is the name of this airport here in Dutch Harbor so right here in my right is the rental car so um, right there in front of us is the inside of the airport but I would like to uh, show you over there in the hill there's buildings right there uh, those buildings are built in case of emergency those are the evacuation area building especially uh, the tsunami because bear in mind that Dutch Harbor is in the heart of uh, the Bering Sea and Alaska is part of the rim of fire and uh, over there where I'm pointing that building right there in the hillside of this mountain is the evacuation area for tsunami because from time to time there will be an earthquake here in Dutch Harbor which is normal by the way and also tsunami is possible after the earthquake so in case uh, there's a big earthquake then tsunami will be the one that will come after so now we are heading to where I live in my apartment and um, I will show you uh, what's my apartment looks like not the whole apartment of mine but uh, some part of it and the view outside in my apartment so yeah there we go again going out from the airport and using the main road that we have used before and I will going to do fast forwarding in this video so that we will arrive go directly in my house In 
a few moments from now we'll be turning left and in that left uh, road right there is where the place called East Point that East Point is where my apartment located I live there and uh, this road right here is not paved it's a dirt road because most of the heavy traffic is right here meaning big trucks like trailers um, payloaders and all kinds of heavy equipments use this road so the city decided not to pave this but uh, just maintain a dirt road so from time to time they do grading here and also do uh, those uh, compacting the road but it's basically dirt road going there in my place called East Point we're almost there uh, but you can see in the road it's uh, dirt not babe and over there in the top of the hill where the blue roof small house that's where I live on the top of that hill right there there we go right here almost there in my small apartment and turn right and uh, go straight the blue roof greenhouse that's me and right there in my right side there's a small porch and uh, a lot of eagles right there hop from time to time they hop right there and even in the roof of my house as I mentioned earlier they're the one that wake me up most of the time early in the morning and not only wake me up but once I get out uh, it's really stinky because that white thing that you see right there in that uh, floor is their poop and the tenant of uh, this apartment I mean the manager the one who managed this apartment he put nails here in the sidings of this uh, porch to prevent from uh, the eagle to land here and hop here in this porch but nah eagles they land still they don't care about the nails so let's get in my house I mean in my apartment and we'll show you the uh, view outside of this apartment <laughs> 